What is on a biomedical science major's bookshelves? Ever since I installed this studio here, you can see those books on the background. But have you ever wondered what is on those bookshelves actually? Let me take you through it from top all the way to bottom. So these are basically three PhD dissertations based on nanobody technology involving cancer. If you've seen earlier vlogs, you know that I tried a PhD before, which was involving nanobodies in the cancer field. Actually, cancer is one of my interests also. And this book here by George Johnson is actually a great insight on everything about cancer, written in some sort of novel-like story, really good for general public, answering typical questions you might have about cancer. Next up are three books that I actually bought during my studies. Let's go through them. So instrumental analysis, actually I did use this book a lot. Then anatomy, this one I really used a lot. Very illustrative. This book majorly helped me to study anatomy. And then this one, it's already the sixth edition, so it's from a while ago. You know I studied from 2007 to 2012. And molecular cell biology is actually the Bible for like cell biology, molecular biology. This is one of the reference books that I use a lot to check back if some concepts that I forgot, like the working of DNA polymerase, for instance. And then we have this one book that I recently added to my studio setup, Immunobiology by Jane Ways. That's the Bible for immunology. Now these two right here, also from the top bookshelf, the first one is the food uh, pyramid that's actually being inversed. So food science, also a cool topic. Uh, I bought this book for like two euros in the recycling store. And this one right here, this is neuroscience, a book for the general public on how we become our brain throughout development and in different disease states. Also very good for the general public who wants an initiation on neuroscience. This one right here is the pocket dictionary for medicine, which we got for our first year in Bachelor of Biomedical Science. And it basically lists, okay, it's in Dutch, by the way, basically lists a bunch of terms in a dictionary form. And then these right here, this is actually the, uh, how you, should you translate this? Because it's in Dutch, it's a pharmaceutical compendium. And actually I have those of, two editions, one from 2010 and another one from 2018. You can see that actually it expanded a lot because in those eight years, new drugs were of course approved. Basically it just lists pharmaceuticals based on class action and actually prices are listed also. It's very handy for like if you have to get information of drugs you have to take yourself for instance. And then this one I bought myself. It's basically the history of pharmaceuticals. Illustrative. And they list the pharmaceuticals according to the year of their discovery. It's actually very cool. It's in Dutch, but yeah, I, I in the bookstore, I thought I needed to have this. Call me a nerd. Then I'll take you through all my courses, actually, biochemistry one, two, molecular biology, molecular biology two, histology from second bachelor, microbiology from third bachelor, medical gene technology, human genetics, one shelf higher up, oh no, still same shelf, lab animal science one and two, one other shelf higher, vaccinology from the second masters, then forensic medicine, cancer, and then some psychology, group dynamic things. This is innovation management, immunopathology, 
biological excursions in the human brain, food science, good laboratory practice, protein chemistry, drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Then epidemiology. And pharmacology. Okay, I forgot one more, molecular virology. This is bioinformatics part one, basically not that bioinformatical, it's just how to deal with searching the literature, like search engines and stuff. You will recognize the following, of course, PubMed. Embryology and organogenesis, second bachelors, 2008-2009, yeah, I'm that old. Very illustrative also. Then we have another one here, cytology, everything about cells, and general histology, 2007-2008 already, my first bachelor year. So these were like slides and then you see where I marked it when I studied it. Basically you get a lot of this in the functional anatomy handbook that I just showed earlier also. You can find a lot of stuff of this also in that handbook. Then we have physiology. Physiology is actually cool. It's initially about how cells communicate in the first part. The second part, I couldn't find the course anymore. So here you have action potentials, how neurotransmission is done. Here's like neuromuscular ending. And then we have some magazines that I collected over some years. And there's some handy indicators on the side to group them accordingly. And then in the bottom drawer, actually tucked away is mathematics from my high school years. 2007, that's the final high school year. I was 17 back then. I just kept this, nostalgia I guess, even though I didn't like mathematics anymore at the end. I barely made it. And this one right here is sentimental. It's the physics book of my mother, 1980 to 81. And this reminds me that yeah, my skills come from somewhere. Cool story. You might have noticed the, on the bottom shelf, this bottle casket thing. It's actually a whiskey that I got from a former supervisor at my biotech company where I worked five years, thanking me for all the work I did on a certain project. I'm saving this bottle for once I finish my PhD, then I'll take a sip of this whiskey. That would be so good. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. The next one, I'll take you through the rest of my books, which are non-scientific. Cheers.